Okay, today's lesson is solving systems of equations. Okay, so you did this in grade 10 with two equations, two variables. So I'm going to recap how you did that. Okay, so in grade 10, let's say you did 2x plus 3y equals 16, and 5x minus 4y equals 17. Okay, so a method of elimination um, would be that we're going to set this up on top of each other, that they're going to equal the same. Like either the x's are the same or the y's are the same, that you could add or subtract them away and cancel. Okay, so let's say we're going to get rid of the y's. I'm going to times this by 4, and I'm going to times this by 3, so I'm setting myself up for them to both be 12s. Okay, so this would become 8x plus 12y equals 64, and this would be 15x minus 12y equals 51. Okay, how do I eliminate the y's? Do I add or subtract? Okay, if they, this is my rule, if they're the same, subtract, s and s. They are not the same, so I add them. Okay, 23x gone equals 115. Divide by 23, x equals 5. Okay, now what do I do with this x value? I plug it in for either this equation or that equation, doesn't matter, and solve. So first equation, 2, and now I replace the x plus 3y equals 16, 10 plus 3y equals 16, subtract off the 10, divide by 3, and y equals 2. So my solution is 5, 2. Okay, so elimination method, and you can use your substitution. Okay, so how do we do this if you have three equations? Okay, so here's, I'm going to label them three equations. Okay, so we have first equation, x plus y plus z equals 6, 2x plus 3y minus z equals 5, 3x minus 2y plus z equals 2. Okay. So, step one, you get together two equations to get rid of a variable. So, two equations, eliminate a variable. Alright, so, I can see, looking ahead of time here, that the z's are very, very easy to eliminate. So, why don't we pick equations one and two? Put them together to eliminate z. Okay, looking at my z's, I would have to add. Okay, so 3x plus 4y equals 11. This is a new equation, so I'm going to call this 4. Okay, step 2. Two equations same variable, eliminate. Okay, and obviously these two equations, we can't use one and two. So we can either go with one and three, or two and three. Okay, so let's just pick two and three. It doesn't matter here. Okay, so two x plus three y subtract z equals five. Three x minus two y plus z equals two. How do I get rid of the z's? I need to add. So 5x plus y equals 7. Now this is called equation 5. Okay, now the third step. Put 4 and 5 together and eliminate. Okay, so looking ahead here, I'm thinking 
that this I would like to times by four so that it would match that. Okay, so equation four I'm going to write as is. Equation five I'm going to multiply by four. So this is going to be 20x and 4y and 28. Now I can eliminate those. It's plus 4 and plus 4, they're the same, so same means subtract. So 3 subtract 20 is negative 17x. 11 subtract 28 is negative 17. Divide by negative 17, x equals 1. I have a variable. Now we need to find the next variable. Okay? I can plug into my equations. I can't plug into 1, 2, and 3 because if I know x, I still don't know two of the other ones. So that doesn't work. So I have to plug in to 4 or 5. Okay, so look at 4 or 5, doesn't matter. Okay, let's just go with 5 because it looks like a little bit easier algebra. So 5x can be replaced with a 1 plus y equals 7. So see what I did? Took that, replaced the x. Okay, so 5 plus y equals 7, subtract 5, y equals 2. Now I have an x and a y, so I can plug in to 1, 2, or 3. Because if you know x and y, you can get the z, the last one. So 1, 2, or 3, this number 1 looks like the easiest algebra, so that's just why I'm picking it. x plus y plus z equals 6. Okay, so x can be replaced with 1, y can be replaced with a 2, so that's 3 plus z equals 6, so z equals 3. So I'm going to write my solution as x comma y comma z, alphabetical order. Okay, so it's kind of like a funnel, or uh, not a funnel, kind of like this, where you start with with your process with three equations and then you get them down to two equations, two equations, and then you eliminate to get one variable. And then after your one variable, you plug into either four or five, then after that you can plug into one, two, or three. So you kind of work down and then go back up. So funnel it down and then go back out to four or five, then one, two, or three.